all right so in this video what we're going to be doing is rigging the entire vehicle now if you're actually doing this for your own vehicle it's going to be a bit uh complicated but hopefully this tutorial series actually help you to you know get an idea of how to rig a vehicle and then make your own rigging for any type of vehicle you have but if you're actually using this vehicle to learn this course then uh, it shouldn't be too difficult for you and uh, there's just a few things we have to put in place before I actually start, get started on rigging this vehicle if you also don't have the 3d model this particular 3d model and you want the 3d model I'll be putting a link in the description for you guys to download it but if you have the 3d model you can just use that one straightforward. Just make all the uh, necessary uh, adjustments that I made to the vehicle and uh, we're good to go. Also, if you want to actually build this whole entire vehicle, which we've done in a previous tutorial series, you should just click on that eye icon up there and it should take you straight to that playlist so you can uh, learn how to create this vehicle in full. All right. So let's get started on rigging the vehicle. But before we actually start the main rigging, like I said, we have to do a few things. So I'm gonna hide this piece. And if you take a look at this, the uh, 3D model that if you guys followed the previous tutorial series, the 3D model you might have would actually have the pieces being separated, all right? So they are separate pieces. But in my case, I actually took specific pieces and then joined them to become one object, as you're seeing here, which I named the main body. All right, so you should pretty much also do the same thing if you want to use the exact same model or uh, you if you just download this one straightforward you should just have it that way <coughs> sorry and also if you're using your own vehicle just make sure you have the parts put together the way that it is so I'm gonna hide this one real quick and you can see what we have here so this is the, su the suspension setup this is what we're gonna be rigging to actually follow the uh, what do you call it the suspension of a vehicle sort of like realistically or pretty close pretty much something like that all right so just make sure you've uh what do you call it uh put together all the necessary objects right now all these are separate pieces you can see this one is a separate piece the spring is a separate piece this is a separate piece and this is a separate piece this as well and that and i think these down here all right so i forgot to separate these ones but we'll do that You'd see this spring as well as a separate piece. This one is a separate piece. All the ones that we have going on here. So we're just going to do a few sweeps before we actually start uh, rigging the main thing. So before I actually move on this piece right here, the one that I provided for you guys, the main suspension, if you follow the tutorial series, the uh, the chassis and suspension that I provided you guys, there's a... Uh, I actually applied the rotation and scale for the spring that you're seeing over here. And then this uh, piece pieces that you're seeing over here and all these three pieces are actually one object if you have that file so all you want to do is just take that one object which in this case will be this one but mine is splitted so just take what that one object and then take and just go into let me take these three pieces <coughs> go into local view and i'm going to take this piece over here right so in your case it should be one object if you're using my previous file and uh just go into edit mode and split the uh the center bar that is this bar over here just split it around this area over here okay so just split it over there and uh and then just uh, pull it up to about this point over here so you want to split it maybe around here or just split it anywhere and just pull it up to about this point over here and also take this one pull it down to about this point and then all of this is just one you can see this is the object that i have as one piece like this and this is also another piece and this is also a separate piece all right so once you have that done, what you want to do now is just go over to the front view, all right? And then take all of this, and now what you want to do is rotate this to be, first of all, let me change the pivoting point to uh, median point. Rotate this to be straight up and down, all right? So you want it to be straight up and down. It might not be accurate, but just get it as accurate as you can, all right? Taking a look at the bottom and the top over here, I'm just going to rotate it a bit more to about there, like that. All right, so once you do that, just apply the rotation and scale, and you know why I'm doing this right now. So just apply the rotation and scale, and let's change the pivoting point, I mean the orientation to local, all right? So we change it to local, you can see the z-axis is in this direction, all right? So if I get to the front view again, and then I rotate this again in the y-axis, back in position like that. I'm just going to rotate back in position, and just zoom in real quick. Rotate it so it falls right in position like that. 
So you can see the z-axis is still very normal, like the z-axis is still uh, oriented with the direction of the object like that. But if we go ahead and apply rotation and scale, which I did before, it resets that rotation. That is what I was trying to get rid of. So just make sure you fix that and make sure this arrow is pointing in that direction like that. So if we take this one as well, you can see this is already facing down there like that. So we don't need to do anything to that. And this one as well is facing down there. So we don't need to do anything to that either. But if you apply rotation and scale, you can see that resets. All right. So just make sure you don't do anything to those stuff. Or even if you have it done, just rotate, rotate it to be straight up and down. Apply the rotation and rotate it back to that position, just like I did with this one. And everything should be fine. All right. So that's the first fix. And also make sure those objects are separate objects, just like that. And uh, make sure there's a separate object. And uh, all I want to do now is to go in here. We're going to take all of this piece over here. I'm going to press P to separate that selection. Take this and then that and press Ctrl and J. And let's go into edit mode. I'm going to take all of this piece over here. I'm going to pull it up in the Z axis all the way up to there, like that. All right, cool, cool. Now I'm going to take this one. Oh, you know what? Let's leave this one for now. But first, let me go into edit mode. And I'm going to take these two pieces here. Press P, separate the selection. And I'm going to take this one and parent it to this with Control P. No, not parent. Actually, join them together. So Control J to join them together and make it one piece. Now, don't pay attention to this side of the uh, this side of the vehicle. We're going to be duplicating this side over here to that side once we finish rigging it. So. Uh, I think that is pretty much all that we're gonna do. I think no, there's still something we want to do here. All right. So this piece right here, the brake pads and the brake, what do you call it? The calipers actually join to this bar over here. Now we don't want that. So what I want to do is let's go over to the top view. I'm gonna go into wireframe and into edit mode. Just make sure nothing is selected. Now let's select all of these over here, like this. And I'm gonna press P and separate that selection. Now I'm gonna select the one over here as well. Go into wireframe, select all of these ones as well, excluding those ones, and press P and separate that selection as well, just like that. Now, if we go out of edit mode, you can see that is a separate object, and that as well, this one right here, is also a separate object. So we just want these to be together like that. And now the final thing is I'm going to take this piece over here as well. I'm going to press P and separate that selection. So that one is also a separate piece, just like that. Alright, so I think that is pretty much all that we need to do to start the main rigging. Also, if you take a look at this piece over here, you can see I've extruded it all the way inside, alright? That is, if you have my previous file, then uh, you might want to do this. Just extrude it a bit forward beyond where it was before. Maybe a bit inside. I think this might be too much, so let me just pull it out a little bit more. Alright, but if you actually download this file, then everything should be set up for you. You don't need to do anything else. Alright, so I think everything is ready for rigging. Uh, yeah, so this is where I'm going to end the first part of the video and uh, I'm not going to be making the actual rigging tonight, which uh, it's actually 11 p.m. right now 11:30 p.m. I'm going to be making the next video tomorrow So you guys should expect the next video tomorrow where we'll begin the whole uh, rigging process and everything So yeah, just get everything prepped up and tomorrow we can actually start with the main rigging Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next video one more thing before we go, uh, I forgot to tell you guys that I actually applied all the modifiers for the uh, each of the objects in here, all right, every single modifier, but I ended up deleting the, uh, what do you call it, the subdivision surface for each modifier on this vehicle, so I didn't use any subdivision surface at all, this is a no subdivision surface uh, 3D model, if you take a look at that, so in yours you might actually have the sub D, it's not a problem, but I actually wanted to make the... Uh, the whole uh, workspace a bit faster so I decided not to add in any subdivision surface so I applied all of the modifiers except for the subdivision surface modifiers if you know what I mean but if you actually download this particular file then you won't actually need to you won't find any modifiers in here at all yeah so I'll see you guys in the next video